All right, today I want to tell you about these insoles I've been using for quite a while that have been beneficial for me in a variety of uses. They are the Remind Medic insoles. I've been using these for at least 10 years. I feel like it's been maybe closer to 15, but I don't want to oversell it. So we'll just go with 10. I've had three or four different uh, pairs of them, all the same, even down to the print, just for different shoes. And uh, they are marketed with a very much of a niche sort of use for skateboarding and snowboarding. Uh, my personal use for them originally was with BMX. But uh, as time went on, I had them in my just day-to-day -day shoes and realized they're good for everything from jumping downstairs on a bike to uh, going to the grocery store, really. One of the best aspects of these are that you have this harder plastic edge around the entire perimeter that stops the softer padding from compressing too much on the edges and having your foot turn one way or another depending on which way you may naturally pressurize your foot. And that prevents injury and uh, just aches and pains really. And that's something that's missing from a lot of the generic insoles. Maybe it's got a little bit of a heel cup, but it's not as stiff as this. This is really stiff. And uh, I think it makes a big difference. It's a, it's a little aided stability without being too overbearing. Uh, another aspect of these that I think is really great is that they, from what I can tell, they don't have an elevated heel. They are zero drop or extremely close to it. It's hard to tell because of the heel cup standing up in the arch support, but I don't believe it adds any heel to toe drop uh, to, to whatever footwear you're using, which is great because Personally, I'm completely sold on the zero drop concept. That's probably a topic for another video. So the foam, the blue foam here is not as soft and squishy as a lot of insoles, uh, which is logical then because, you know, if they're used for extreme sports, you can't have it be so soft that it just smushes and compacts completely. So it's a little firmer than you might be used to for some, you know, general use insoles. However, they've still been great for me for uh, you know, being on my feet for long periods of time, really, uh, other than maybe, you know, uh, ten over eight hours, might be a bit much. Might be you know in need of something a little softer. But I mean, I've even been on my feet working, you know, webcast events, you know, rolling cable, walking back and forth, doing all kinds of stuff for hours. And as long as you have a little bit of time off of your feet then they've been great. You know, with weddings with me, there's times where I'm up to, you know, 14 hours in a day and I might be sitting down for, in some cases, 10 minutes of it. So that is a pretty high stress situation anyway. And I haven't really found anything that's a perfect solution for that. So, you know, that's not a knock on them because they can't handle it. Also, the arch support is listed as a medium on uh, these insoles based on the website, but I have pretty flat uh, arches myself and they've been uh, quite comfortable. It hasn't been overly pressurizing it as I've experienced with the, uh, the Joe Nimble shoes, uh, which a previous review. Of course, the uh, toe box area on these insoles are designed for a normal type of shoe, a mainstream shoe. Uh, just want to point that out since there are some people who are going to be on this page based on uh, minimalist footwear that have a wider toe box. I tried putting them in my zeros and they work pretty well, but I could definitely feel my big toe hanging off the edge a little bit. I uh, just want to give you a look too. These are the oldest pair that I have that I, I do believe are is at least somewhere in the, the decade old range. And really the, the only damage is aesthetics. You can see where my front, my toe is here. And you know, even towards the heel, it's starting to fade out. It's starting to, to peel off a bit, but that's only the very top layer. And you know, maybe a couple stress marks here on that hard edge. Uh, which are not as present in the, in the newer ones. They're still there a little bit, but not the same. But yeah, it's amazing how long these hold up. You know, it's a, it's a great investment. And um, like I said, I, it's for anything from doing errands, doing extreme sports, you know, going for a walk, you know, whatever it is, uh, they're just a great all around option. And I wanted to put it out there because I know that there's maybe a lot of videos about these insoles on uh, YouTube, but it's only in regards to their use for something extreme sport related. And I just think these are kind of like a, a hidden gem 
uh, if you will, for the, the average everyday user as well. So please, uh, if you're looking for an everyday insole or a kind of a do-it-all you know, type of deal, you, you'd really be doing yourself a favor to uh, check these out. I even go as far as using them in my around-the-house uh, little slipper-type shoes, these little like $15 deals from Amazon. Uh, put them inside there because what it comes with are, you know, you can imagine $15 Amazon shoes. So then I wear these around oftentimes days, uh, you know, after a long wedding. So even just the day after, they kind of work as a good recovery shoe. So, yeah. I would just say, give them a go. I love them. You know, I'm not saying that the absolute best to ever be made. I don't know. I haven't done some exhaustive comparison tests. I'm not out here getting these things and dropping bowling balls on cinder blocks like I've seen some other things do. But, it, you know, I don't know how much relevance that has to the actual wearing them on your feet. You know, it's a very interesting uh, test to do, but once again, you know, I'm not a medical professional uh, of any sort, so I can't really comment on how that works and what relevance that has. But yeah, that's it. Like I said, bottom line, I love these things. And if you need some uh, general use insoles, then definitely check them out. They don't all have weird uh, graphics like this. There are some that are a lot more normal in case you have somebody see the inside of your shoes and you don't want to be kind of uh, embarrassed. But yeah, you can get all kinds of different prints, so check it out.